they are programs uh, like for the, for example for deaf and mute children. So we try to provide not only medical help, like helping them with their ear ear problems, but also we provide food, we provide clothing, we provide medical checking up regularly during the year, uh, reconstruction works with the buildings where they live and stay at night and at day, uh, teachers. Um, and any kind of extraordinary or emergency help that they need during the year. When I first came to the youth house, I was just a teacher. I came to the class and I faced these kids for the first time. And by the way, it was my, my absolutely first experience working with a group of kids. But when I saw their eyes, when I saw how trustworthy they looked at me, in some cases, we even forgot about English classes. We talked, and these kids were from the first IDP war, I mean, from Abkhazia. And once I remember, I, um, we had a topic to discuss. What would you do if you had one million dollars? Yes. There were different opinions of kids, but one girl, whose name was Nino, she stood up and said, so if I had one million dollars, I would pick up all IDP families from Felici and I will rent a big airplane and take them all back to Sukhumi, to Abkhazia. I will never, ever forget this in my life.